what's going on youtube it's your girl kid and i'm back with another video and i wanted to make this little quick helpful video for you guys because i know a lot of people are just not getting their game or they're just not getting their consoles or if you're new to 2k or whatever the case may be you know everybody wants to know how to get to the starting lineup in the quickest way so i wanted to make this quick and helpful video for you guys so just to get it out there this is pretty much the same for current gen and next gen so it doesn't matter what console you're on if you're on ps4 or ps5 you can pretty much do the exact same thing takes the exact same steps and you should get the same results so what worked for me is playing on 12 minute quarters all right so like you you know it starts you out on five minute quarters you can do what you need to do on five minute quarters but if you up the level of minutes that you play you're able to do a lot more you will be able to score a lot more get more points and that's really the key to get into the starting lineup okay you want to score as many points as possible so i suggest switching it to 12 minute quarters and playing on pro difficulty because the more points that you score the better you're doing in games the more minutes and stuff you will eventually earn and so everybody's trying to earn that starting lineup spot and another thing that you want to do is don't sim games don't sim games don't skip to no games don't simulate don't skip all the way to the playoffs don't skip all the way to the all-star game or anything like that just play the games through because to be honest it only takes roughly about 15 to 20 games 15 to 20 my career games and you'll be in the starting lineup before you know it. So that's not a lot of games. And then you're playing on 12-minute quarters and you're scoring a whole bunch of points. Like for me, I was averaging around like 50 to 60 points a game. 50 to 60 points a game and stuff like that. And I was able to get into the starting lineup, I believe, at my 15th game. My 15th game, we was going up against the Portland Trailblazers and I was able to start now leading up to to make sure that you're on the right track to starting it's going to be a little it's going to be some little cut scenes between you and the coach like before games letting you pretty much know that you're going you're on the right track to get into the starting lineup so if you ever wanted to know how close you were so be on the lookout for those little cut scenes because like i said earlier those cut scenes will let you know if you're on the right track to get into the starting lineup and another thing that it dep it really depends on what team you guys choose to play for, the position you're playing, and your overall. All of that stuff comes into play because you have to think about it. You are literally competing against who is already starting on the team to take that position away from them. Okay? Like you're in a competition to get in that starting spot. So so as for me in my situation i play for the bucks and my player is a small four so i'm pretty much competing up against Giannis. but at the same time it's not that hard to transition Giannis down to the power four position and let me have that small four spot so it really didn't take me that long to get to the starting lineup but if you look at it as if say for example if you go to the lakers and you play the small four position you're competing up against lebron james you know, LeBron, if you're whatever team that you're going to in whatever position, if they already have superstars in that position on the team that you're going that you're on, it may be a little bit harder or it may take you a little bit longer to get to that starting position. So it really all depends on what you're putting out and what you're doing for your team. Like you it's gonna pretty much be like a side by side comparison. Are you outshining who is already in that starting role position? That is what's going to pretty much determine how fast you make it to the starting lineup on your team. But just like I said earlier, keep in mind that I highly suggest you guys playing on 12-minute quarters. Put it on the easiest difficulty. Switch it to pro difficulty. And it's going to take roughly about 15 to 20 games. I made it to the starting lineup at my 15th game. Like if you want to know like what how many games you have played, all you have to do is like pretty much like as soon as you load up into my career and you press play play next game, it's gonna show you guys, you know, your record and stuff like that. But like I said earlier, do not sim games. Like I did not sim any of my games. I played all of my first 15 games straight through. I did not sim, I didn't skip 
or anything like that and i just played all the games all the way out and i was scoring like 50 to 60 points a game like you just really got to go out there and go crazy and do your thing like just rack up all the points assists all the stats that you possibly can while you're out there on the floor you just got to really really go crazy and show out and do what you got to do so you can make sure that you secure your starting role on the team because it's going to really benefit you in the end it's going to benefit you in the end and your grind and stuff like that so making it to the starting lineup is very very important and like i said this is pretty much it goes for current gen and and next gen it doesn't matter what console you're on ps4 xbox xbox series x ps5 it's pretty much the same steps and you're going to get the same results it's going to take you roughly about the same amount of time if you listen to what i said in this video so that's pretty much it i'm going to show you guys the clip that you're going to get the cutscene that you're going to get on next gen this is going to be the cutscene that you're going to get on next gen just going to let you know that you have made it to the starting lineup officially so make sure you like the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit that notifications bell junior 18 man this is crazy. Words. what's up coach you are gonna run with starters tonight i see you got you found a trade partner mm -hmm. yeah we need the league to sign off on it but we reached an agreement and we told hendrix to stay home <laughs> wow yeah okay uh now look i know you're gonna want to go out there and prove that we made the right decision and that you're a better player than Hendricks. I get all that. But I'm telling you, that mindset will get you into trouble. I want you to keep doing exactly what you've been doing. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Now look, the media is gonna be coming in here pretty soon, and they're gonna be all over you. This is a huge story. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, without question. Um, I'm ready, coach. Okay. Well, take it in stride, and try not to give them anything too juicy, all right? All right. We'll make sure to wrap it up after a couple minutes. That's why we got the calm stand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice job. Yo, Doug, what's up, man? With everyone just finding out about the Cobb trade and your first start, I want to know where your head's at. How are you feeling? Uh, man, uh, sad to say, this right here is a business. Players get shipped out all the time, man. I'm just focused on being the best junior I can be. But are you sad to see Hendricks go? I mean, um, <laughs> look, yeah, I mean, a part of me is sad, but let's, let's keep it 100. We play the same position. We do a lot of the same things. Long term, it wouldn't have worked out for us to both be here. So management did what they had to do. He had to go. So that said, how much pressure do you feel in knowing that your excellent play made Hendricks expendable? It's a lot of weight on your shoulders, isn't it? Nah, nah, I don't really look at it that way. No, nobody puts more pressure on me to be successful than me. But your play made trading Hendrix possible. I know how close you guys are. It's gotta hurt a little. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe so, but um, like I said, that doesn't make me feel more pressure. My only pressure comes from me. You know, I want to be the best. So being better than Hendrix, man, I, ain't nobody thinking about that. But he's just another guy standing in my way. Junior, what's your mental approach for this first start? It's certainly a bit unusual, the circumstances. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a little natural to be <laughs> nervous. Um, you just want to prove that you belong. I just need to play within myself, make the right play. Um, go as hard as I can for this team, and um, that's about all I can do. <laughs> 